This is the new Smart Level with Bluetooth basic app operation. First we're going to turn the level on. We're going to connect to Bluetooth. Then we can start scanning through. This is centimeters of course. We'll attach this to connect. Whatever is on the level is going to be on the uh, in the app on your phone. This is inches, fractions, feet, inches, and tenths of an inch. Inches and tenths of an inch. Centimeters. I'm going to take it back to inches and tenths of an inch. That's what I like to work in. And you'll see sometimes there's one division difference. Uh, that's a little tweak that we've got to fix. It's in the process. We're in the process of working on that right now. Uh, it's not going to be off over one division and that's really splitting hairs. Uh, we also have an engineering mode for civil engineers that want to see in feet above sea level. So we have, you will, you'll punch this first, this top number in, whatever value that you want it to be or that you actually know that it is. Uh, your civil engineering documents will have this spelled out on top of a sewer line or something as such. Then all of the readings are converted to feet and hundreds of a foot and added or subtracted to the initial uh, engineering value. Uh, extremely helpful if, if you use this. Uh, if, you're, if you're doing this with a laser, you have to figure your story pole. You have to take your readings from uh, the story pole and convert them to feet and fractions of a hundred. Then you have to add or subtract that from your initial reading. This level does all of that for you. So it really simplifies that process if you need that. We'll take it back out for those that do not need it. Uh, we have the save the view readings. You can go in here and I've already stored some readings. Uh, we'll go back. We have the save readings. You can save the reading as it is, the 23.3. You just tag that and it will put it in. It'll be our, our last reading. We can go back and we can save the readings. We can put a comment with this. You can type it in. We also have voice recognition. Test data. Go back and view the readings and it puts the comments in along with it. You can also have these in an Excel spreadsheet and you can send them anywhere you'd like with a cell through a message, mail, messenger if you want to. Anyway, you'd send it on your normal iPhone or Droid. Uh, we, to delete the readings, you just go through and scroll them off like you would normally. Oh, we also have, as you can see up here, that we're out of range right now. I'm going to zero the level here. And we're connected. We can set this level. It's, we've got it set right now at two inches. Uh, we can go through. I'm going to set this at one inch. And what this is, it does the same thing as our range reading on the level. As you raise or lower it, we've got a, a plus and a minus one inch here. So you can see where you are. As long as we're within that inch, we're green. When we go over the inch, we go blue. When we go below the inch, we'll go red. Uh, we have the same function built into the level. I've got it set at a half inch now. I can scroll it up or scroll it down. But likewise, when you go above the range or below the range, you get out of the green area. So right now we're in the green. It'll drop down here and show you in just a second uh, what the range is. And then it goes back to the zero where we had it zeroed. And as you raise this, if you come out, you'll get a blue. And if you go below the range that you set, uh, it's very useful if you're putting in dense grade or something where you're just going for a flat grade. Uh, you don't have to worry about it, And your workers don't even have to worry about looking at the numbers whatsoever. Uh, it, it really broadens your, your workforce. Uh, anyone that can see green, uh, blue and red can tell if, if they're within range or not. And you set the range, so you're actually determining the parameters on that.